everyone, this is Pick for Life, and in today's P4L review, we'll be taking a look at um, our 14 Commodus from the Mastermind Creations reformatted line, and that is uh, MMC's take on the Decepticon Turmoil, who is kind of popularized by his appearance in the Drift comic as well as uh, More Than Meets the Eye. Uh, a slightly lesser known uh, character, but um, still a really cool remold. So, this is a remold of their Spartan. Um, or impactor mold, um, but it's a really smart use of the mold, and uh, the the pieces that they remolded uh, really do fit the character um, really well. All right, so let's go ahead and, and start the review with package review as always. And as always with MMC, you always get this nice collector's box. Um, nothing new really going on on either side. You do get the nice render here up front. Um, some pictures on, on the top, warnings on the bottom. <coughs> And apologize again, I'm still recovering from a cold or maybe starting to get a cold. Uh, on the back, we get a lot of product images again. Nothing uh, too crazy, but you get to see him and his alt mode. Um, I don't believe you, we actually saw his alt mode. Um, and I could be wrong uh, since I, I'm not up to date on um, the IDW series, but I don't think we actually saw his alt mode um, in the comics. Just go ahead and leave a comment if uh, if we actually did at some point. And here we get some nice artwork, and then we get the window box that actually shows off turmoil in packaging. Um, as always, really nice packaging, and uh, it fits in the series of the reformatted line really well. So if you're into boxes like I am, uh, they display really well with each other. All right, so let's get this guy open. Once you have him out of the box, you get uh, a lot of the standard stuff. So the first thing we'll take a look at is his stack card or bio card. Another render on the front, uh, and specs on the back, and up, up at the top you actually see um, a, a bunch of different images of him, um, which is kind of nice, and some basic stats. Nice plastic card that we're used to with the uh, instructions. Um, again, the, in, the printed instructions um, are, are, are pretty sparse and uh, not that good, to be perfectly honest, uh, but you guys have my uh, official video manual which I, I do for MMC um, to help you guys out if you have any questions and we're going to go over through that uh, transformation both ways in this video as well and on the other side uh, here you actually see him with his uh, mold brother Spartan <clears throat> on the other side you get issue 14 of the reformatted comics so I'm not going to spoil that for anyone if you guys are reading that and haven't gotten yours yet you do get uh, the standard clamshell, and in the little bag you get some extras. So the first thing you get is his gun slash cannon, which also acts as his cannon in um, in his alt mode. But you also get a couple of these. If you remember Spartan's uh, review, you get a couple of wrist pieces. Uh, these are kind of superfluous because of the fact that. Um, you don't really need them for, for turmoil, and I actually think they look better without uh, the wrist guards. And then for this piece, it's a little pig piece that uh, tabs into his outer arm, forearm, to hold the arms together in alt mode. But um, it actually comes installed with one, so it's kind of unnecessary for, for them to have added that as well. So yeah, with that, let's go ahead and get this guy open out of his clamshell and he is a really nice um, black plastic with some silver highlights and a little bit of, uh, of, of light blue highlights which really make the, the character pop. Um, I do wish they had a little bit more uh, in terms of paint applications but it is actually accurate from what I've seen in the comics he doesn't have that much um, but I've seen some people like uh, Kellinger Customs do some cool um, panel lining with some similar light blue um, all throughout and which looks really nice and it also echoes what the cannon has here uh, so <clears throat> robot mode review there are a couple things to note again uh, some minor mold differences and we're going to go over that in, in just a second but by and large he's a really nice looking turmoil very evil looking the black deco looks really sleek here the silver highlights really do make him look nice. Uh, the one thing I will say is he has red eyes, 
which I don't believe is accurate. From what I remember, he has like orange eyes most of the time. Um, so I, I would have liked that to be a little bit more uh, comic book accurate to what I remember. But he may have had <clears throat> other uh, instances as well of different colors. So that may be just a, a, a variation on that. The cannon can fit into his hand just fine. Come on. There we go. And if you recall, he does uh, at some point lose his hand and this becomes um, his hand instead. So he, I believe he loses his right arm. And you can actually swing up the handle to get a peg uh, if you want to use that. But I actually think the handle works better um, because this using the peg creates like a bit of a gap. Right here, it doesn't look like a very um, one piece or conjoined piece to his arm. If you actually use the, the cannon handle, the gap is really min minimum, minim minimized. Man, I, don't, I can't speak today. Uh, alternatively, in uh, some episodes of the issues of the comic, he has the arm kind of mounted, the cannon mounted on his arm like so. And you can do that using... Uh, the the handle here and it can kind of fold up to the side to give him kind of a Megatron look and even if, if you want you can you can twist that around and give give him an even more Megatron type um, feel <clears throat> so a lot of options with the cannon uh, you're not gonna have the shoulder mount which Spartan has so you can't do that but that's not accurate to the character anyway so um, so yeah, that is uh, a difference in the mold itself. Uh, speaking of differences, let's go ahead and bring out his mold brother. Uh, a lot of the differences are uh, in the shoulders. You can see these are really accurate. And that's one thing uh, MMC does really well with IDW series. They do really accurate representations um, of, of the IDW figures and characterizations in their toys. Um, the chest is different here, uh, here as well. Again, no ports on top because the entire upper torso section is basically uh, remolded the shoulders uh, the arms are not remolded from what I can tell uh, and I don't think the, the blades are either the legs look pretty much the same uh, the abdomens look pretty much the same these knee parts are, are definitely different and then um, the feet here are different as well so Spartan had these little hidden cannons while Turmoil doesn't have that. Uh, along the back, I don't think, again, there's really any difference here. Um, one of the main differences is the color of the treads. So Spartans was kind of gray, and this one is a kind of a, kind of a, a brownish gray, more of a brown uh, tint to it than, um, than Spartans. But <clears throat> other than that, in robot mode, that is uh, the only real mold differences that I see. I don't think we're going to actually see um, any new mold differences in alt mode. But we'll go ahead and take a look at that in a bit. So, uh, robot to alt transformation is going to be the same as Spartan. Uh, what I like to do is turn the hand up like so uh, first. And we're going to get these arms around to the back. And then use that tab here to go into the forearm. You're going to make use of the double jointed elbows. Do that on both sides very quickly. And then you want to get the arms kind of straightened out as well as the shoulder pieces. Um, next we're going to open up the chest, fold in the head. You don't have as big a head as with uh, Spartan so you don't have to worry about any kind of clearance issues or damaging your head. You don't have to turn it 180 degrees like you do with Spartan to avoid damage to the crest. Go ahead and unfold the shoulder pieces, close up the chest, come around and extend on the series of hinges, and then you're going to rotate the backpack 180 degrees, so it looks like this. Um, at this point, I actually like dealing with the waist now, so go ahead and get around with that waist, make sure it's lined up perfectly, and then this butt flap tap tab will tab right in there. <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, the next thing we'll do is straighten out these pieces, which will act as uh, kind of like shocks or pistons. And then we're going to go ahead and slot this backpack in like so. Uh, before you move too much further, you might want to get these out. If you want to lock these in, um, you don't have to. If you want more articulation on the turret and alt mode, you actually need to keep these down. Um, but if you want the full kind of look of pistons, working pistons, you're going to line these up like so. And then come down here. Um, <clears throat> it, you might need to squeeze this series of hinges just a bit because when you do collapse these hinges on the arms uh, back on themselves, um, sometimes you run into that, so just give it a little squeeze and it should com uh, compact down. Uh, we're going to fold this in on itself, so this peg goes into the slot, it, it, uh, it hole, and vice versa on both arms. And then the arms will peg together if you have that little piece pegged in already. You can go ahead and flip out these side panels, which will go in and fit around the butt plate. Uh, next up we'll deal with the legs and what you need to do is rotate the entire leg including this hip piece 90 degrees and then you're going to want to rotate just the bottom part another 90 degrees. So a total of 180 for this section and 90 for that section. And we'll just do that on both sides right now just to get it done and out of the way. <clears throat> to transform the foot, we're going to, or leg, we're going to rotate around like this and that tab over here is going to tab into that slot. Straighten these out. Come in from behind and untab the treads. Expand it open and this tab will actually slot into the other slot. In a nice satisfying click, lift this up all the way like this, and then here you're going to bend it and it will untab there and this will come all the way around. And you have a series of tabs, uh, I think like three tabs, are, and, and this one here are going to kind of all work in conjunction to hold that in place. And there's one little peg on the front part of the tread that goes into the outside of the arm. <clears throat> and then you have one side done. Same thing on the other side. Lift this up. We're gonna get that foot spun around. Very reminiscent of some of the joints on uh, Feral Rex's Bovis. Get that up like that. And then peg that in. And then lastly, take the cannon, use the handle to go into that little slot right there. It's a little hard to actually find sometimes. But there we go. We have Commodus or Turmoil in alt mode. And as I said before, you do only get a little bit of articulation if you um, plug these pistons in. If you take them out, you can actually go 360. Um, to do that though, you kind of have to untransform or uh, part of it back to robot mode just to get that clearance to get these pegs out without damaging them. Uh, the cannon does go up and down. You can get it going, oh, unpegged on me. You can get it going um, pretty high. But yeah, that's really it for alt mode. It doesn't have any of the uh, ports here so you can't use, he doesn't have another handgun or anything like that. He doesn't have the tow cannons. Uh, so really this is the entirety of the mode. Again, no wheels on the bottom, which is uh, a bit unfortunate. It would have been nice to have something here um, to let him roll around. It's a slide around, but still a really nice looking uh, metal sluggish alt mode. <clears throat> 
See, uh, one thing I'll say, and I should have mentioned in robot mode as well, is uh, Turn was fairly large in the comics. So uh, that's probably my one nitpick about this as a remold, is that uh, he's probably smaller than he should be in terms of um, scale. Uh, he should be probably a little bit bigger, but um, I don't think any other way we would have gotten a turmoil figure uh, unless it was a remold. Uh, Spartan wasn't that big compared to others, but turmoil is, so there's going to be some kind of um, compromise you're going to have to make if you want uh, both characters. But it was a really smart remold, uh, uh, and I never really would have saw this coming, but good job for MMC for doing that. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this guy transformed back into robot mode and finish off with final thoughts. So let's unpeg this, put, put it off to the side for now. Um, we're going to deal with the legs first, so coming around to the, the bottom. We'll just go all the way around. And this actually tabs in up here. Let's just pull the legs down a bit. Uh, and then we're going to reverse this transformation where we kind of unpeg the foot, fold that back in on itself, push up, open these pieces, and then bring this foot down and around on that ball joint. Same thing on the other side. And um, this is a really satisfying mold as far as transformation goes. It's really fun to transform. So get those legs rotated around to the front as well as those hip pieces. We're going to come to the, the shovel, unpeg those, get those fully extended, come around here, fold these back and, and around. While we're here, let's go ahead and untab the butt flap just because we're already around there. From here, we can start pulling out this piece. We can fold these down, fold these in. <clears throat> and it's kind of hard to get this piece out. Uh, what I recommend is just sticking your finger in here and just pulling out that piece. And that gives you a little bit of uh, an easier time getting this all out. Go ahead and rotate that 180 degrees again. Open up the chest. Put these tabs in the back here and simultaneously close up the shoulders so that they tab in to the side of the chest. Oh, get the head out. Don't forget the head. Close all that back up. And rotate at the waist at some point. Get the arms straightened out and around to the front. Get the hands rotated around. And then go ahead and, you know what, I'm gonna place this on his hand because I actually like this look a lot. And there we go, we have Commodus back in robot mode. And like I said, he's a really nice figure uh, really nice remold, really smart use of the mold. Um, I like that they were able to give us uh, a pretty minor character um, in the IDW line. Um, I like how they allowed you to use the cannon as the arm as well. The only thing that I would have liked more is if he had orange eyes or had an alternate head that you could put on that only had one eye because he loses an eye at some point, his left eye, and it's covered up with like a metallic patch. It would have been very cool if they included another head or something like that, um, but they didn't. And I think the only thing really missing from this guy is a kind of clear-backed Decepticon symbol that goes right over the chest because that would really com complete the look. I've never had any of the clear back ones, but I definitely need to pick some up now that I, I uh, have this figure. So final thoughts are, uh, I kind of already covered them. Uh, I really like this mold, uh, really fun to transform. I think he looks really mean. Uh, it's 
super accurate to the IDW iteration. Uh, I did a lot of comparisons to see, um, you know, the molded details of these spikes here, um, the cannon. Um, the only thing, like I, I said before, is it would have been cool to, if they took a little bit more liberty and added some more paint highlights, especially on the lower body. There's nothing really there except the color of the treads and the paint on um, kind of the, the spokes and shocks down here. But it, it looks really nice when I saw all the people do the customization, like Killing Your Custom, around these panel lines in nice blue. And I thought I saw in some of the pro promo images the barrel inside here um, having like a blue rim and blue highlights on the inside. But I thought I saw that somewhere. I might be mistaken. But I think that would look really good as well. The alt mode, uh, I love Metal Slug, so it's nice to have that alt mode. Um, but again, again, I don't think we've ever seen his alt mode, so... Um, taking liberties there work really well. Um, I don't really see the point of these pieces again. If you want to use them, you can, but this is an extra peg just in case you lose one, I guess. Uh, but otherwise, a really fun figure. Um, if you are collecting a reformatted line and are, are really big into the IDW More Than Meets the Eye series, highly recommend picking this guy up um, from your favorite store. Hopefully it's Toy Dojo, the sponsor of my videos. Alright, if you have any questions or comments or if I missed something, go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Um, and as always, if you want to keep up to date with my news and reviews, go ahead and click that uh, P4L Reviews logo that's floating around somewhere. Or, or follow me on Facebook at Pick for Life Reviews. Alright, that's all for today everyone. Have a good one.